Hey guys, this is Imanchu, and today we are going to discuss about a very famous problem, which is finding the intersection node between two linked lists. So let's see what the problem is. So we are given two linked lists, and suppose this is our first linked list, and this is the head of our link list but the other link list suppose this is a view second link list okay now the catch in the problem is that somehow you have implemented to these link list and you know the last node is pointing to null in link list but somehow this last node of the last linklet rather than pointing to null it started pointing to the node of the first link list right so now you have two different link lists which are actually intersecting at this node and after that they both are pointing to the same number of nodes which are these right so it will be given the input in the input will be given the heads of these two link list and they might be intersecting with each other in this fashion or they might not be intersecting like they could be two different individual link lists right so what we have to do if these link lists are intersecting in this manner we have to find this intersecting node and return it so basically what we have to do we have to identify the node at which these two link lists are being intersect and then uh, what the other thing we can do we can actually we will be asked or we could be asked to remove this link so what we have to do we have to again make them separate right so we have to in this problem identify this node or could be any other node if this would have been pointing to this one then we would have been that like, would have been asked to identify this one right so this is the problem so i would like you guys to pause the video and think about the solution like how you are going to find this intersecting node in these two link list there are two different solution to this problem one is the optimized one and one is the basic solution i think you guys should be able to come up with the basic solution at least so basically you have to find out a node which is common between these two link list the first node which is common between these two link list right so i think you might have got the hint so pause the video and see how you can solve this problem okay so my, i hope you guys might have found the solution of the problem so let's discuss what solution we have for this problem so let's draw some list here and the other list here So let's put some values here, seven and okay. So this is our head one and this is our head two. And suppose this guy is pointing to here. Okay. So this is our node that we should be returning. This is our intersecting node. Okay. So let's discuss uh, what could be the solution. So first solution is very simple. As you guys know, we have to find the first common element between these two lists, right? And whenever you have to find uh, the commonality between two different entities, what do we do? We can use the set, right? So that's what we will do. We'll use set here. So suppose this is our set, and rather than creating set here because it creates the confusion. Let's suppose this is our set. Okay. So what we what we'll do first, we will traverse this complete list and put all the elements inside this set. So one, two, three, four, then another element will be five, six, seven. Now uh, this list is over. Then what we'll do, we'll start traversing this list and start checking if we are finding the element which is present here or the node which is present here in this set 
or not. And whenever we'll find the node, that will be our first intersection or intersecting node, and that will be our answer. So first we'll check if 100 is here, no 100 is not here. So okay, we'll move forward here. If 200 is here, no 200 is not here. If 300 is here, no 300 is not here. 400, no 400 is not here in this set. Then we'll come here. We'll check if 3 is here. Yeah, 3 is here in this. So 3 is our intersecting node. Okay, so let's analyze the time complexity and the space complexity of this solution as we are using the set. And what we are doing, we are actually traversing all the elements of the first layer and storing into this right set. So this set is going to take the space of equal to the length of the first list, which will be ON. So space complexity is ON, right? And what will be the time complexity? In worst case scenario, we'll end up traversing the first list and we'll end up traversing the second list also when this node will be pointing here. And the last node will be the uh, intersecting node or both of the lists are not intersecting then in that case also we'll keep on we'll end up traversing all the elements so worst case complexity will be o m plus n where n is the length of this list m is the length of this list right so as you can see the space complexity is equal to the length of the list and this is a problem because if this list contains millions of the elements uh, we will need a set which will should be able to store the millions of the elements right so let's see how we can decrease our space complexity and make it something like o1 okay so let's see how we can do it let's remove all this okay so let's see clean this up a little bit okay so let's see so let's take the same example okay so uh, what you can see here this is our common node right and if we know the length of this list this second list and if we know the length of the first list right so suppose first list length is what is first list length one two three four seven and what is second list length? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, right? Okay. So now let's check the difference. What is the difference between these two lengths, which is 2? And which, which list is greater? It's the second one. So let's move this head equal to the difference. So difference is 2. So move this lead, head two positions forward so the here is our head now this head is pointing here this head is pointing here now I start moving both of these heads one step forward one by one so first this head will move here one step this head will move here one step now this head will move here and this head will move here and whenever we find both of these heads pointing to the same node we will return that node because that will be our first intersection node so that's how we found this. Now, in this case, if you see, we are not storing any element there. We are just traversing the list uh, to calculate the length, which is the extra operation that we are doing. So what will be the complexity in this case? The space complexity will be O1 because we are not storing anything. And the time complexity will be, first we'll calculate the length of this list. So that will be ON. Then we'll calculate the length of this list. That will be OM. After that, what we'll do, we'll start traversing both of the pointers one by one. So that will again be O M plus N, right? So what we will get two O M plus N, which in Vigo notation can be represented as O of N, right? So as you can see, we have decreased the space complexity. So that's how we can do the most optimized solution without storing any of the node. So first we calculate the length of both of the list and then we find the difference and then we'll move the head of the bigger list equal to that difference and then we'll start reversing both of the pointers one by one until either both of the pointers become null or they start pointing to the same node. If both of the pointers become null, that means there is no intersection. Like in this case, if we remove this, 
then then so uh, first of all our length of the second list will become 4 and the first list will have 7 so the difference will be 3 and we will move this head by 3 element right so our head will be here and then we'll start traversing both of these and our h2 will be here and then we'll start traversing both of these one by one so this will come here this will come here this will come here here this will come here and this will come here and then this will become nickel and this will become null and that means if both are null that means we didn't find any intersection between both of them right so in this case we'll return null okay so let's see how we can go ahead and implement it into the code Okay, so let's open the code. And uh, yeah, so this is this is the code that I've already written so that we can save some time. So I'll just go through this code. So so here, as you can see, we are getting two inputs, head one and the head two. And this is the case in, this is the corner case in which, you know, head one is null or head two is null. In that case, if any one of these are null, that means there is no intersection, so we'll return null. Then here I am calculating the length of the first list, then length of the second list. And then as I told you, we are finding the difference between the length of both of the list. Now, what we have to check if the difference is greater than zero, that means the list one is greater in length. That means we have to move head one equal to the difference. But if difference is less than zero, that means list two length is greater than list one. So we have to move head two. So that's what I'm doing. And then decrementing diff so that we move it equal to uh, until or unless the diff becomes zero. Now, what we have to do, we have to move both of the heads one by one and also start checking if both our heads are pointing to the same node or any one of them or both of them are becoming null right so whenever these two conditions will not be any any one of these conditions not be satisfied we will go out of the loop otherwise we'll keep on moving both of these heads one by one to the next nodes and at the end we will just return <coughs> head one or head two depending upon if head one is equal to null that means there is no intersection right so we will return null which will be head one and if and if uh, head one is not equal to null that means we have found the intersection node so we'll return head two so that's all for this program let's go ahead and run this program so let's run this program so so let's remove this. So let's check how I'm creating those linked list. So this is our first list, which has the element one, two, three, four, five. And then this is our second list in which the elements are 100, 200, 300. And then merged, to merge these lists, what I'm doing, I'm pointing next to next to next pointer to the head next. And head next is what? head next is two here, right? So the first intersecting element is two. So let's check if our code is able to find out. So this is the function, what we wrote and I'm calling it here. And if intersection node is null, that means there is no intersection. And if it is not null, that means we have found the intersection node. So let's run it. Okay, so this is our first list and this is our second list. And you can see we have the common element two in both of the lists, and this is our up. So it looks like it's working fine. Now let's check one more condition in which there is no intersection, right? So let's remove this part where we are actually creating the intersection between the list. So now in this case, our code should print no intersection form. Let's check. Okay. So if you see in both of these lists, there is no intersection, right? So our code is saying no intersection found. So that means our code is working fine. So that's all for this video. If you guys have liked the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video and comment if you have any questions. I'll try to answer those. And yeah, so see you next time. Thank you.